Welcome to the project demonstration of Robot2, Rescue of a Child in Bohol using IoT. So here IoT technology nothing but by using ESP32 camera. So here we have attached the ESP32 camera which will take the video feed and uh, it will provide that video feed to the Google Chrome through the internet, the Wi-Fi and the same from the uh, browser only we are going to control the robot movement. So that's up and down with help of this DC motor and open close fingers with the help of this DC motor which attached to this one and these two DC motors interface it to the L293D motor driver and from there uh, the signals will be getting from the ESP32 camera directly through these four wires so based on this command received from this ESP32 camera the system will control the motors direction uh, for up and down and open close so the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp DC battery pack which is rechargeable battery pack so the operating voltage for the DC motors is 12 volts so that is 12 volts directly given as input to this L293 motor driver but uh, the ESP32 camera operating voltage is 5 volts for that purpose we need to regulate that 12 volts DC to 5 volts DC with the help of this LM2596 voltage regulator so these are the main connections in our project so before uh, demonstration of this project we should keep the battery under full charge for that purpose connect this transformer to the 230 volts AC inputs and now the LED indication show the status of battery charging it will get fully charging duration of 6 hours minimum 8 hours maximum till the duration we should keep the battery under full charge so once uh, the battery is fully charged the time completes then just you can disconnect the power supply to the transformer and the next step before demonstration Go to hotspot settings of your phone, hotspot settings of your phone and configure the hotspot name to project 5491 without any space, without any capital letter. Password should be 12345689 AB band 2.4 GHz. After configuration of these hotspots on the hotspots and install the network analyzer application from the Play Store. So this is the network analyzer application available in the Play Store. So install that. After installation, you can see like this. And now on the power supply to the kit so this is main on off switch on and this side is off so now the system is got switched on we can see the light indication on that and uh, in your hotspot settings you can see one device is connected so you can see that so after seeing this only now go to network analyzer application options scan so one successfully scan there we can get the IP address of our mobile phone and there is a ESP32 camera so copy that and open in Google Chrome directly so you can see the visuals right okay so we can control the headlights on headlight off So open close can be done. So headlight on already, headlight off. Right.